news, Princess. Charity just came face to face with... Charity! Except you and I both know that Charity's spitting image is none other than her own cousin Kay. Not even a meanie like Kay can get out of this mess. Don't give up hope yet, Timmy. All I have to do is find the right spell to change Kay back into a mean old self. And then all she has to do is come up with a way to confuse Charity about what she saw. Tabby better hurry up. I am hurrying. You know what's at stake here? The Charity and the Bennett Bunch realize what's going on. We're finished, Jimmy. Finished, Finito. I can see you're worried, Dr. Russell, but there's no need to be. Right, my mother came to apologize to Teresa for suspecting her of keeping more secrets from me. So she says. Look, Teresa promised me that there are no more secrets. My mother is finally accepting Teresa as her future daughter-in-law. Things couldn't be better. I hope you're right, Ethan. I am. <laughs> Excuse me. Yo, Ethan, wait up. I wish I could be as sure as you are. But I think Ivy is here to cause Teresa more problems. Please, tell me that I heard you wrong, Teresa. Oh, I wish I could, Whitney. But it's true. I'm pregnant with Julian's baby. So you're telling me you got pregnant the one and only time that you slept with Julian that night you got married? I can't believe it either, but it's all too real. And I am so, so sorry. You know, I, I promised Ethan that there were no more secrets between us. How am I gonna tell him that I not only slept with Julian on our wedding night, but that I got pregnant with his baby? Come here. Stop wondering why I felt so close to Sheridan on that island. Maybe when Brian and Diana get here with Best Boat, they can help me figure that out. Not that it'll matter. Sheridan's gone. If only we hadn't have gone out on that boat. She'd still be here. So many if onlys. If only the boat hadn't exploded. Why is it that the boat did explode like that? I don't know why you've contacted me. Our business was settled quite some time ago, May. It's 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 June. Whatever. The fact is, I paid you and your friend very well to destroy that boat and take care of my sister Sheridan. May she rest in peace. Oh, you're some piece of work, Julia. So what else could you possibly want? Sheridan is as dead as the days of disco. I have something to tell you, Mr. Crane. And I hope you're sitting down.
sign of K on my end. You guys have any luck? No, I couldn't find her anywhere. Me neither, Chief. I just hope Kay's all right. I mean, Charity sensed evil when she saw her exact double earlier. I just don't see how she could have seen someone who looked exactly like her. Could Charity's mind have been playing tricks on her? Well, I know it sounds far-fetched, but I believe her. Just wish there was something more we could go on, some kind of physical evidence. Well, Charity's still searching the guest room. I mean, maybe the evidence is staring her smack in the face. You have to do something, Kay. Okay, stop panicking and think. I've got it. Guessing games, Timmy. Either tell me what's going on up there or zip it. Kay's using the old mirror trick. I must have missed that one in Trickery 101. What on earth are you talking about? Remember that I love Lucy episode where Lucy dresses up as Harpo Marks and imitates his every move? Oh, yes, that was a classic. What's that got to do with anything? Kay's doing the exact same thing to Charity. She's a smart one, okay. But that won't fool Charity for long. Oh, I have got to find the spell that will turn her back into her old self. Oh, we're doomed, Timmy. Doomed. It makes me sick to say it out loud. How can I be pregnant with Julian's baby? Okay, all right. Um, before you totally freak out about this, are you absolutely sure that you're even pregnant? Oh, I'm sure. I mean, your mother tested me at the mansion after I fainted. I even insisted that she do a second test. And I'm guessing they both came back positive. Whitney? I know I screw up a lot, but I, I, I never thought that my life would turn into such a mess. I mean, you know I would never do anything to intentionally hurt Ethan. I know. And now I'm going to hurt him in the worst way possible. You know, I can't stop thinking about the pain that I'm going to cause him when I, when I tell him that I got pregnant by the man he used to think was his father. Okay, okay, just calm down. Let's take this one step at a time and we'll figure it out. Whitney, I can't calm down. Ethan is never going to forgive me when he finds out I'm going to lose him forever. You know, you're always saying that I shouldn't keep secrets. Do you think that I should tell Ethan the truth about this baby? Teresa, you know how much I hate lies. But this time, maybe it is different. We just need to take our time and really think about this one, okay? Because if Ethan does find out, not only is he gonna be devastated, but it really will be over for the two of you. Then I'm gonna have to come up with a way to keep this a secret. No one can ever find out that I'm carrying Julian's baby, especially Ivy, because she would tell him for sure. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? You should know very well that time is money. After all, I made your life quite comfortable after you completed your mission. We all do what we have to do for money. But you know, blowing up that boat wasn't as easy as Basil and I thought it would be. Things come up that you can't exactly plan for. Success isn't guaranteed. Yes, well, uh, funny you should mention that. As I recall, both Sheridan and her fiancé, Louise, would perish during their romantic excursion. But alas, L Louise is alive, well, and continuing to harass me on a daily basis. Well, I guess Louise was lucky. 
But Luis isn't the reason that I'm calling. I, I called to talk about your sister. Uh, uh, look, it's, it's really been charming uh, conversing with you, dear, but that issue is dead, as dead as Sheridan. I don't think so, Mr. Crane. The truth is... What? This is ridiculous. I don't have time for these games. Oh, my God. What? I know exactly why you called. But it can't be. I can't believe this is actually working. Charity's more clueless than I thought. That's Charity. Oh, Charity! What happened? Are you all right? She, she's here. She's here. Great. I'm really in for it now. It's you. Yes. It's just me. So it's true, huh? You're pregnant with Julian's baby. It's awful. But yes, it's true. Julian Crane doesn't deserve to live for what he's done to my baby girl. No, Mama, don't don't talk like that, please. Teresita, I cannot help it. That pig has ruined your life. And he's taken away your dream of marrying Ethan. No, oh, Mama. No, no, it's not true. I can come up with a way to keep it from Ethan. I can still marry him. No. This is one time I will not let you live in a fantasy world. There's no way you can keep this from Ethan, Teresa. Pretty soon your body will betray your secret. Mama, I know I will find a way to make this okay. No, Teresita. Because the longer you lie, the more stressful it will be for you and your baby. And I'm not going to watch you jeopardize your life and your health and that of your baby as well. What are you saying, Mama? Ethan, he must be told. He must be told that you are carrying... that you are pregnant with Julian's baby. Leave Teresa alone. Now you know very well that this is Julian's fault for getting her drunk and, and then tricking her into marrying him. Oh, yes. Big bad Julian. He huffed and he puffed and he blew Teresa into the wedding chapel. Oh, cut it out now, Ivy. Both you and I know what kind of man Julian is. I am well aware of what a monster Julian is. But maybe Teresa is just as bad. And today might be the day I find out. No. Excuse me. How long am I going to go on longing to hear Sheridan's voice, knowing I never will? It can't be. I'm surprised you figured it out so quickly, Mr. Crane. But yes, it's true. Yes. Now that Sheridan's dead, you're going to blackmail me. 
Now listen here, little miss. You're not getting another dime. You listen to me, Mr. Crane. I don't want your money. I just want... To oh, yes, let me guess. Gaudy baubles, perhaps a tacky little sports car. Well, you'll get no such thing. Hold on, you bastard. I'm calling to tell you that your sister isn't dead. Sheridan is alive. Who's that brazen broad think she's dealing with? <laughs> what a jerk. I should just tell her everything. What are you talking about? Is there something you want to tell me? I can't let them see me like this. Charity, what happened? You said someone was here. Do you mean Kay? Evil is here. Better check it out. Charity, where did you sense this evil? Evil is right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you scared the daylights out of me nearly falling like that. I told you, you've got to give me advance notice if you're going to take a tumble. Oh. Jimmy, sorry, but all that screaming was too much for someone even as brave as Jimmy. Oh no, Princess isn't going like this one. Sam, Grace, Miguel, even Charity, all in the bedroom, but Jimmy doesn't see Kay. That's odd. The brat couldn't have just disappeared. Doesn't look like there's anything in the closet, Charity. Close. Doesn't look like anything's out of the ordinary in here. Tell us exactly what you saw, Sora. I opened the closet door, and I saw an exact image of myself. Whenever I moved, it moved. Look, I'm not making any of this up. I swear, it's all true. It's, it's, it's okay. We believe you. Charity, don't worry. Whoever's in this room isn't going to escape. Please, Mama, you can't tell Ethan the truth. I'm sorry, Mija. But there's no other choice. I just wish that I could understand why or how. You're always getting yourself in these terrible situations over and over again. Mama, I never meant for this to happen. You never do, do you? You just tell me. Explain to me why it's so difficult for you to listen to your own mother's advice instead of your own crazy ideas. If you would just tell the truth, Teresita, then you wouldn't have to tell lie after lie to protect yourself. Oh, Mama, I know, I, I know. I, and you're your right. actions, your actions, Mija, they always have terrible consequences. But you don't learn from your mistakes. Dear God, where? How did I go wrong in your upbringing? Oh, don't say that, Mama. You are, are the best mother anyone could have. Then for once in your life, listen to me. I'm sorry. I know I should tell Ethan the truth. Too much to lose him, Mama. And I love you too much to let this get any worse, Teresa. Please, don't tell him, Mama. Teresa, one day you will look back and realize that I did the right thing. If I don't tell Ethan, the pressure could harm you or the baby. And the, the truth has to come out, Teresa. And it has to come out now.
Excuse me, Mrs. Crane, how can we help you? I'm so sorry. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Do you have something you want to say to me? I can't tell Sheridan who she is. If Julian Crane is willing to kill his own sister, God knows what he'll do to me. I just hope she didn't hear too much. No. No, not you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your phone call is none of my business. It, it just sounded like you were getting upset. Oh, it's nothing. I was just trying to do a favor for an old boss, and he was too much of a fool to listen. It's too bad. I'm sorry you went out of your way for nothing. Trust me, honey, you shouldn't be so sorry. You know, I, why don't I get you a cup of coffee? I, I was just about to pour myself one. Sure. It'd be great. <laughs> Is everything okay? I, I just can't shake this feeling that I know you. You must have me confused with someone else. Like I told you, I've never seen you before. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just grasping at straws again. I'm just so anxious to remember my past. It's probably best not to push it. Besides, you've got a good thing here. It's a beautiful island. Got good friends. Sounds like a whole lot of peace and harmony to me. Yeah, I guess you're right. Harmony. Hey, that reminds me. What do you know about a town called Harmony? Louise. Sheridan. Sheridan, is that you? Of course it's not you. Why do I keep hearing your voice as though you're alive? Sweetheart, if anybody can find whoever or whatever is in this room, it's Sam. Yeah. He's hiding under the bed. <laughs> Dudley Do Right finds her, our goose is cooked. She doesn't have the nerve for this. I swear to you, I wasn't seeing things. When Sam catches the evil, you're gonna see that it's all real. I found her. It's funny, Pilar, but I didn't see you come in the front door. Why would you sneak in the back way? Mama wanted to freshen up. That's enough, Teresa. It's all over. Mama, please. Why is Pilar so upset, Teresa? What is going on? It's nothing, Mrs. Crane. If you will excuse us, Whitney, and I would like to get back to the party. It looks like your mom is really going to tell Ethan, Teresa. What are you going to do? I don't think there's anything I can do. I'm afraid this is it. My life is over. Oh, there is something big going on here. And I'm going to find out exactly what it is. I found exactly what we're looking for. She's right here. Why did I wind up with a cop for a father? Might as well give myself up. I don't understand. Maybe I haven't been found out after all. You must have been so caught up in your premonitions and trying to find your double that your mind played tricks on you. When you opened up the closet door, you saw a reflection of yourself in the mirror and mistakenly thought it was your twin. It makes perfect sense, Charity. I don't know, guys. 
What about in the living room? I'm sure I saw my double there, too. Well, there's mirrors on those walls, too. I mean, the same thing could have happened down there. Uh, it's just that it seemed so real. Sometimes when we're scared, our minds jump to conclusions. We don't know what's real, what's an illusion. He's right. Okay. I I'm not going to argue with the facts. All right. Well, now we have to find Kay. I'll go with you. Come on, Charity. I'll make you some tea. I don't think she's here yet. Actually, um, she snuck in the back and went straight to Teresa's room. Strange, isn't it? Maybe she just wanted a moment with the guest of honor. <laughs> nice try, Dr. Russell. No, when I walked in, both Pilar and Teresa were crying. Now, that just doesn't seem like very festive behavior to me. I think that one of Teresa's secrets is getting ready to slap her in the face. And I intend to find out what that secret is. Oh, Ivy, why don't you stop looking for trouble where there isn't any trouble? <laughs> oh, yes. There is trouble here. But something tells me I'm not going to have to look for it very long. You two seem pretty serious. Is everything okay? Well, actually, Ethan, as Ivy's doctor, I was just telling her that I think that she's overdoing herself. I thought you should take her home and have her get some rest. Oh, <laughs> Ethan. I'm fine. Dr. Russell's just overreacting. Besides, I don't want to miss a thing. Hey, Dr. Russell. Well, uh, why don't we uh, leave Ethan and his moms and talk this out? All right, Chad. Mother? Hey, I don't mean to be buttoned in, but uh, I could tell there was some pretty intense vibes between you and Mrs. Crane. That Ivy. She's like a vicious pit bull. She's determined to stir something up between Teresa and Ethan. She's trying to find something to incriminate Teresa. Oh, excuse me, Chad. Laura? Are you okay? Nothing is okay, Eve. Nothing will ever be okay again. But I take it you found that at the Crane Mansion. I am so sorry that you had to find out this way, Pilar. I promised Teresa that I wouldn't tell anyone. It wouldn't have mattered how I found out. Nothing could make this any better. I suppose she told you who the father is. Who else could it be but Julian Crane? That snake, he took away my daughter's innocence. And now this. Believe me, Pilar, I hate Julian as much as you do. He is just a vulture, just preying on young girls. And unfortunately, Teresa happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now she must suffer the consequences. And she is. And I understand just how much she's suffering. Mm 
I cannot take this pain and suffering anymore. I'm going to put an end to all of it. I'm not sure I understand you. There will be no more secrets. No more lies. I'm going to tell Ethan the truth right now. That's what happened when I changed it to charity. Please let that mean I'm me again. Yes. Now all I have to do is find my mom and dad. Hey! There you are. Hi! Okay, where have you been? We've been looking all over the place for you. Oh, I was up in Tabitha's attic. I was gonna borrow one of her old purses. Oh, well, we were just gonna look up there, but never mind that now. The important thing is that you're okay. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. I sensed evil in the house, and I thought you might be affected by it. Well, I guess your radar's a little off, because as you can see, I'm absolutely fine. And I didn't see evil anywhere. Hey, man. Hey. Need any help? No, no, thanks. I, you know, I just thought I'd get some firewood together, make a fire for Ethan and Teresa. You know, okay. Be a nice mood. Hey, you know what? Let me go and get the, uh, the wood carrier. Yeah. Luis. Never want to be without you. Mm. Well, the feelings are mutual. In fact, I'm going to show you how much I love you. Yeah. No one's due home for hours. Mm. I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, I'm going to lock the door uh, then. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Crazy, but I, I heard the door and I thought it was sure. I don't sound crazy, man. Because I don't want you miss. Yeah. It's, it's, I, keep, I keep hearing her voice, you know, and I, I keep thinking that she's alive. And I, I know it's just a dream. It'll never come true. It's a town, Harmony. You ever heard of it? Doesn't ring a bell. Mm. Why are you going there anyway? Oh, I'm sailing a boat up there with a friend. We're returning it to its owner. Harmony just sounds so familiar to me. I'm hoping when I get there, something or someone will trigger a memory. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck with your trip. Will you excuse me? I need to make another phone call. Sure. Julian Crane that Sheridan is alive and headed his way. On second thought, why ruin the surprise? Julian Crane deserves everything he gets. <laughs> But how dare that woman call up on the pretext of talking about Sheridan just so she could milk me for some more moolah. 
I doubt she'll call again. I'm sure she got your message loud and clear. Just in case, I want you to be ready for any necessary uh, preemptive strikes. It's getting harder and harder to keep up with your dysfunctional life, Julian. Oh, don't worry, Harper. Everything's going to be fine. Father will be thrilled the way I've cleaned everything up. Now the annulment papers have been signed and my exquisite ex-wife isn't pregnant. There are no other surprises that could come my way. Hmm. Mother, I want to thank you for putting aside your bad feelings about Teresa. My future bride has no more secrets. You can count on it. That's it. I cannot bear this any longer. It sounds like Pilar's upset. I wonder what's going on. I have no idea, darling. But I'm certainly going to find out. Ethan is everything to me. If only I could turn back time, Whitney, I would tell him the truth. I hate to say this, Teresa, but I do not know how you're going to get out of this one. I mean, your mother seems determined to tell Ethan you're pregnant with Julian's baby. I never meant to cause her so much pain. She thinks telling Ethan the truth will end everyone's pain, Teresa. Well, my only hope now is that your mother can convince Mama not to tell Ethan my secret. Now, Pilar, I know you're upset, but no good can come out of revealing a secret right now. Think about what you'll be doing to Teresa's life. I am doing this, Eve, to help my daughter. The lies and deception cannot go on. I am going to tell Ethan what Julian did to Teresa. 